Today, I will give a brief overview of Open Citus Planner, and then I'll show a few examples where we have integrated with a spatial data. And then I'll show how to configure access to a, a city Gmail data set that's stored in a 3D city database. We, we talk about the federated views of data. This is what you what you put together in, in the data manager tool and the Open Citus Planner editor where you bring all these different data sets in together into a federated view. Here's, here's how it works. The the big bigger data sets like the reality models, the train models, the aerial imagery, the connection to the to the spatial databases, you set that up in the data manager tool, uh, which runs in a web browser, and then you can use them in the project editor, which uh, lets you add overlay data like points of interest, shape files, or CAD models or, or things like that, and kind of use that big data set to create these presentations. Obviously, share them with the, with your team or with the stakeholders like citizens. So let's switch to a couple of examples to show what we can do. So if I switch to markers, it's going to start querying the database. So the style is configured based on the on the on the class of the point of interest, and then when you click the point of interest, it, it's a query to the database and you get whatever information that's been configured for, for this point of interest. So when I hover a building in the reality model, it actually gets a footprint from the database. Uh, it uses that to highlight the building. And when you click it, it will query for more information about, about that building. So again, it's a reality model. But then when I hover it, it's a query to the database, and we are receiving a 2D floor plan, which is then extruded based on the on the start elevation of the floor and the end elevation of the floor uh, to a 3D 3D space. And when I click it, it's we're receiving uh, data from from the about that apartment from the database as well. Now you can work with the reality models, but you can also work with different types of city models like city GML. 3D city database is a database mapping of the city Gmail schema, and it runs on top of PostGIS. So the way it works, if you have that 3D city database, then data manager can connect to that using just user credentials and the name of the database, and then it's kind of plug and play. So I'm gonna start by configuring a building layer using the data manager. This will be the definition or the configuration of the access to the, to the building data set in the 3D city database. So I'll, I'll pick features. And then the input type here will be the, the city DB. And then I'll put in the, the access to the database. We can also do edits in directly from the, from the editor interface to the 3D city database. So I'm gonna set it to be editable and I'm gonna create two different layers, which will be buttons in the interface here. And then I'll grab the building data set. And next let's grab the trees. They are also going to start loading from the database. So the, the cool thing now is I can actually edit the uh, the trees in this interface, the buildings as well. But let's start with the trees. So now this object kind of expands and I can add new tree models to it, but I can also edit the existing ones. So I'll go to edit tool. And now this tree is, I can move it around. So maybe it's supposed to be placed here. Maybe it's supposed to be taller. I can enter a commit message and then commit the changes. So that saves it to the, back to the database. The same for the buildings. And now every building is, again, you can edit them. So I'm in OpenCities map here, and these are zoning uh, polygons. They are colored based on the usage and they have attributes for the max height that the, the zoning plan is allowing. So this is stored in a, in a PostGIS database and I can update the polygons here. It will save down to the database and then I can configure data manager to read from the, from the same database. This time I'm picking the PostGIS and then I'll use the credentials, map data sets, I have my zoning. The object ID that I mentioned, we can we can see that as well. So if I go in here to the zoning object and I go down to the on click action, I can add a pop up window. So let's if we just want to see the ID for the plan, and it's going to bring up whatever ID for the object that we clicked. So have an excellent day, and we'll see you at the next SIG. Thanks.